Okay, third graders, Miss Ott here from Gatewood Elementary one more time to finish out your reading lessons for this week and I think for the year. So it's, um, it's a pleasure. Remember this week we are talking about this book, Keepers, written by Jerry Hamel Watts and illustrated by Felicia Marshall. Before we go into talking about and reviewing this book, I wanna review something else that might look a little bit familiar to you all. So thinking about the reading comprehension strategies, um, these have been strategies that you've been learning all year long. And now that we're at the end of the year, it's interesting to look back at how you're using them in every aspect of your reading. For example, when we were reading the story Keepers, there are a few strategies that we use to better understand this story. We asked questions and wondered at the beginning we made inferences about the characters, so wondering what kind of person Little Dolly is, what kind of person Kenyon is, and we, did, we practiced determining important ideas. Today, we are going to be thinking about and talking about the lessons that you can learn and that characters learn from these books. So we'll be talking about what little Dolly and what Kenyon learned from the story and also how those lessons can be applied to your own life. Let's start by reviewing this book. I'm gonna go through page by page and just kind of go over what happened or summarize what happened in each part of the story. As I'm doing this, I want you to also think about how you could add on to my summary so if I'm missing something that was pretty important, maybe just tell yourself what else happened in that part of the story. So at the beginning here, little Dolly is telling Kenyon a story and she ends up falling asleep. And while she's asleep, Kenyon decides it's a good time to skip out on his homework and go to the baseball field because we know that Kenyon loves to play baseball. But as he's leaving, little Dolly calls him out and finds out that he did not quite finish his homework. Kenyon ends up staying home from the baseball field and having to finish his homework, which he's not really happy about because he doesn't really like learning about history. And he says that the stories that he has to read in his history book are pretty boring. Once he finishes though, he goes to the baseball field or to the baseball diamond. Um, and there he meets another boy, Mo, who was not very kind to him. He kind of taunted him a little bit, um, especially about his grandmother. And that makes Kenyon really, really upset. And then later in the story, uh, we see Kenyon and little Dolly sitting on the front porch where little Dolly is telling him about what it means to be a keeper. And we learn that a keeper is somebody who holds the stories um, in their family. And usually these stories are about the family or about culture or about tradition and then passes those stories on to other people in the family and Kenyon says that he would love to be a keeper but finds out that he can't because he's a boy and according to little Dolly only girls can be keepers. We also find out that Kenyon has been saving up for little Dolly's 90th birthday so on this page here we can see that he's emptying the contents or the the money that's in his box where he saved the money and he's getting ready to go search for a gift to get for little Dolly. It's her 90th birthday and he knows it's a big deal. And the first place that he goes is to Mrs. Montgomery's bakery and he is interested in getting the strawberry shortcake for his grandmother because she, he knows that she absolutely loves them. He also goes to a couple other stores in town that he knows little Dolly likes like the antique shop and like the, um, the carriage shop, carriage ride place, that's what it's called. Um, and thinks about if there's anything there that he could get for little Dolly. And then what happens next is um, he, as he's looking through town and he's walking through the town trying to figure out what to get for little Dolly, he ends up coming across this brand new leather baseball glove. And rather than buying little Dolly that gift, he spends it on a new baseball mitt for himself. He's feeling pretty proud about it once he gets to the baseball field because it's a new mitt and he's excited to show it off and the other kids are really excited um, to see it. But he quickly realizes that he made a really big mistake because he no longer has any money to buy little Dolly a present. So that night he goes home and his dad tells him that 
you can't go back, you can only go forward, which as you thought about earlier in the week, kind of just means that you can't change the past, but you can change the decisions that you make going forward. And that's just what he does. So knowing that he doesn't have any money now for the gift, he decides that instead of buying a gift that he would make one for little Dolly, and he sits down and he decides to write stories. When it comes time for little Dolly's birthday party, everybody in town shows up. Mrs. Montgomery brings that strawberry shortcake that she loves so much and they all have a great time. Little Dolly is just completely blown away by how many people are there to celebrate with her. And then toward the end, she finds the gift, the book that Kenyon made for her, the book of stories that she has passed down to him. And at the end, she decides that he can be a keeper and that he needs to start adding some stories of his own to this book. Now, in many fiction stories, we know that characters often change from the beginning of the story to the end because of some things that they come to learn um, when the story is happening or during the middle of the story. So thinking about those lessons that characters can learn, I want you to think to yourself right now about what lesson does Kenyon learn? So how does Kenyon change in the story and what exactly does he learn or what causes him to change? You can maybe jot this down on a post-it or another piece of paper, or just take a moment to tell yourself, how does Kenyon change and what does he learn or realize? Next, I want you to think about how does little Dolly change in the story and what does she come to learn or what does she come to realize? Sometimes seeing these pictures can help to remember or to help give you an idea. Now, as we know as good readers, um, not only do characters often learn a lesson in the story, but there's often a lesson that readers can learn in a story too or learn from a story too. And those lessons or those messages that readers can learn after reading a story um, are what we call themes. So important life lessons that you can apply to your own life. So think to yourself about a message that they're trying to teach you in this book. What do you think is a message or a theme that you can apply to your own life? And what happens in the story that makes you think that? Now, after this lesson is done, you're gonna have a chance to do some writing about that lesson. So what is the lesson or the theme that you can learn from this story? And what happens in the story that makes you think that? Remember, adding in those reasons for why you think that's a theme is really, really important when you're explaining your thinking. Before you go on to do that, I wanna take a moment to reflect on this unit. So you have spent the last several weeks thinking about important ideas and themes in different kinds of texts. And remember that thinking about important ideas or themes in a text can help you remember what happens in the story. It also can help you think more deeply about the story and it helps you to connect your own life to the story. When you can make those connections, those self to text connections, it just helps you better understand and remember the story. You've done a lot of work with these comprehension strategies over the last year or so. And our hope as third grade teachers is that you are using these comprehension strategies every single time you read. So practicing them as often as you can whenever you're reading, whether it's fiction or nonfiction, there's a reason why we teach these strategies so that you can practice them and you can become a better reader. During your IDR today, your independent reading, make sure that you are reading a fiction story and thinking about or looking for those themes or the important lessons that you can learn and apply to your own life. If you can, after you're done with your independent reading, um, maybe find somebody to share your theme with and to talk about the book with. 
It has been a pleasure being here with you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I hope you have a wonderful summer. Great job on becoming better readers this year, third graders. You should be really, really proud of yourselves.